Hello, my manifestors. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Olivia Grace back with another video. Um, I'm looking a little crazy because I'm about to go work out. Um, but I just really just had this on my heart and I wanted to share it with you guys um, because I know a lot of people are struggling with money and I used to be one of those people and my money story has dramatically changed. And I just want to talk about that um, on here and give you guys some hope and give you guys some inspiration. Um, and I just want to tell you guys what I came from. Um, I came from a place where I was literally late every month on my uh, rent to the point to where literally there were eviction notices on my door every month. Like, Obviously, we know rent is due on the first. We would be paying rent the week before rent was due again. So we'd be paying it on like the 23rd or the 25th. They would literally have the court order on our door like every time we we're about to pay. There would be times where we wouldn't even have change, like no quarters, no dimes, no money at all, like pennies. You know, we'd have pennies sometimes. Sometimes we'd have to take all of our pennies and take it to the coin star and get them, you know, get some cash for that just to get some food. You know, um, it would be, you know, my niece's birthday or my godson's birthday and I had no money, zero dollars to get them any type of gift. And I remember feeling so bad, like, I wish I could just get them something, just send them something, even something for ten dollars. And I could not do it, y'all. It was completely out of my budget. Um, no bills were paid on time. Bill collectors always calling. My car was always up for repossession. It actually got repossessed twice. Um, it got repossessed. I, I, I don't even know how I got the money. I think my mom ended up helping me or something. I can't remember. But ended up getting the money to get my car back. It got repos repossessed again. And... Um, that at that point I wasn't able to get it back. Um, just, I just remember really struggling and even like contacts, like being able to see, I remember it was honestly, y'all, it was last year that I first got my contacts, um, in years and years and years and years since I had contacts because I wasn't able to afford it. It was a luxury I just couldn't afford. I couldn't afford to see, literally. I remember when I got my contacts in the mail and I was seeing the world, like seeing everything like, whoa, like <laughs> look at all the details in the world. Like I didn't know that, you know, there's all these details that I've been missing out. And it was just something that I could not afford. Even when I got my contacts, I didn't have the money to get the solution to like put the contacts in. And so I was reusing my contacts over, actually, oh, that's what it was. It was a seven day trial that I got. So I was trying to stretch them. They're one day contacts. So I was trying to stretch them for as long as I could. And I remember going to work and um, like, try, like my eyes were super dry. And one of my coworkers was like, what are you doing? Like, and I told her, well, I'm trying to use my one day contacts. I'm on like my fourth day. And she was so sweet. And the next day she came and brought me, um, like some contact like solution for me to at least like keep them moist um while I was doing that um I just remember just struggling so much I remember the first time I first tried to start saving money and every single time I would start to save I would get like $25 saved and my ex at the time would be like oh we need that like we need that to pay bills and we would still not be caught up on bills um I just remember the times when even $10 would change my whole situation. Hey, hey guys. Um, you guys are just popping in. I'm talking about my money story. Um, and I just really today, um, my boyfriend and I were paying our bills, not for February, but for March. And we just both had the money. And I was like, here, I'll just, you know, like, here's my part of it. Like, I have that. He has his. And we were both just like, wow, like, we're doing really well to be able to pay our bills for March in February. And it's like still like halfway through February. And it just made me remember 
the times when I couldn't even pay my bills for February, like the past me would just would still right now not even have paid February's rent. Um, and, you know, now I'm in a position where I have thousands of dollars in a in a trading account that I don't even need to touch or desire to touch. I have money just sitting around. I have money in literally probably like nine different like places, just money here, money there, money here, money there, money here. Um, not even including like credit cards that I have as well. And this is just a humongous difference from even just this time last year of my money story that I had then. And it's, you know, now I can, I'm in a position where I can do the things that I used to think I used to dream about doing, which is helping people. You know, now it's like having extra money. I can think about, oh, well, who can I help? You know, who can I give to? Um, you know, when my, when my siblings ask me for money or they need help or whatever like that, I can send it to them and I don't, I don't need it back. I'm not waiting on it back. Um, I am going to talk about how I manifested it. I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video because I have made other videos about manifesting money, but I will talk about some things. Um, but I just like, it's crazy to me and I'm by no means am I like rich yet. You know, I am creating that as well. Um, but my, my situation is completely, I mean, you guys like, friends birthday parties. I remember having anxiety about friends birthday parties because I knew I wasn't going to have money to do anything, literally anything like, and I mean, going to Waffle House, you know what I mean? Like I didn't have that to do that. I remember my friend's birthday. She would, she always comes down for her birthday and she has like, she would have to pay for me to eat for her birthday because I didn't have the money, you know? And now it's to the point to where, you know, for this year, for my godson and my niece's birthday, their birthdays are a few days apart. I'm planning to take them to Disney World. You know, I'm planning trips in my head. I'm, you know, just doing different things. I was able to... um give someone like $200 over the um, holidays. And it was a dad that had two special needs daughters that really needed that, that I was able to create that change in somebody's life. I didn't know them. You know, I just knew, I, I knew somebody that helps people and I asked her who I could help. And I was able to help them with that. Like that's something that I could never, ever do before being able to just pay it forward in a line and pay for somebody's food behind me. You know, like somebody, I remember I uh, went to McDonald's, which it's funny because I don't eat McDonald's, but this day I wanted like a McGriddle or something. And um, I wanted to pay behind, I'd never done that. I'd never had the opportunity to do that, to pay for somebody else's stuff. I was usually struggling to pay for my own stuff. And I, um, paid, I, I got to the window. I was like, let me take care of theirs too. And they were like, oh, it's $14. Like that was like this life changing amount. And I was like, it's okay. Like I could cover it, you know? And I remember times though, when I didn't have $14, you know, and just the anxiety of, of trying to pay bills, the anxiety of having your car up for repossession is crazy. The feeling that you have every day you wake up, like, is that, is it going to be out there? Is it going to be gone? You know, and, and finally going out there and it's not there anymore. You know, it's, it's crazy. You know, it almost, I almost like want to cry a little bit, but I've always held this vision for myself and I, I don't even know in this moment what I can say the biggest thing that I did, but what I can say is to be, be resilient, keep trying, um, keep and change your story. You guys, that, that, that's it. That's the biggest thing. What are you telling yourself about money? You know, my biggest block around money was that there was never enough. So 
even though I would manifest this or manifest that or do these things, because I, I, my belief was I don't, there's never enough, it would always overflow. It would always just not be enough. I wouldn't have enough. And I, and I realized one day that I was telling myself this story that there's never enough and that, duh, that's why it's manifesting to be never enough. You know, believe in yourself, believe in your power. Um, and it can change, it not can, it will change things for you if you persist. And that's the other biggest tip too, y'all. When you first try to change anything in your life, whatever you're trying to manifest, it's not, it doesn't happen like that. And there is a little bit of time in between your thoughts changing and your reality changing because your reality is showing you what you've been creating. So the moment that you start to create something new, it doesn't change in that moment. It takes time for it to catch up, for your reality to catch up with what you're thinking now. And that buffer of time is where most people lose faith. And most people say, well, I guess it's just not gonna happen for me. And I know that's how I was. I guess I just can't manifest it. I guess it's just impossible. You know, just a quick little story is, I remember having the opportunity, y'all, be open to opportunities. Be open to investing in yourself. Be open to, to looking within yourself and knowing that wealth can come from within you. It doesn't have to come from a lottery ticket. It doesn't have to come from somebody giving you money. It doesn't have to come from a random check in the mail. You can do something with yourself to make money, but you have to have that vision. There was a guy that right as I had my awakening, you know, of course, like I called into my experience more money. I came across this guy. He had all these opportunities for me, but I didn't believe in them. I didn't believe in me. This guy now is rich as fuck, okay? This guy now has two Teslas. He spends his time traveling the world. He's a huge inspiration to me. And this is somebody that I was working with that I chose not to work with anymore because of my money blocks. You will block yourself every time when you're not aware of it. And it's just every time I see him on my timeline and see how his life has just grown and transformed, it just makes me think of that moment that I was this close. I was this close. Even Bitcoin, you guys, back again, right when I had my awakening, I was calling all this money into me. Somebody came up to me when Bitcoin was $75, you guys. Bitcoin, I believe, is 40000 right now. It was $75 and he told me and my ex about it. And he said, and I remember thinking, well, one, we didn't have the $75 anyway. We didn't have the $75. Now, let me tell you this. And here's something else about investing in yourself, y'all. If I had known that that $75 was going to turn into $40,000, I bet you I would have scraped up $75 from somewhere, but this is how limiting beliefs are. You know, oh, well, if I invest this money, I'm never gonna see it again. No, if you invest the money, it's gonna come back to you tenfold, twentyfold, if you have that belief. And we wrote him off as a scammer, okay? Never heard of Bitcoin, what are you talking about? Some coin, what do you mean, Cr cryptocurrency? It's 40, it was $75, you guys. It just shows you how you can be in your own way. The money can be coming to you. The opportunity can be coming to you. But are you in your own way? What is your story? What are your beliefs? Um, I, you know, honestly, y'all, I just, I, this was just on my heart. And I was just really thinking about how much I really struggled with money, you guys. Really struggled. And I imagined being in this place you know, where I could pay my bills early, not even just on time, but early, where money wasn't a thing for me, where I could have money all over, where I could go out to eat. I can go out to eat. I order whatever I want to order. I don't have to look for like, oh, let me just get the appetizer and a water. Like, and even then, y'all, I there wasn't even, there was no appetizer money. There was no money at all. I could not afford anything to eat, you know, not to eat out, maybe some ramen, <laughs> like, you know, so it's it's just possible and it can happen quickly, you guys, because even from, like I said, last year, this time to this year, this time, my money story has completely like blown up. 
even from the time like 2018 to 2019 or wait, 2019 to 2020, my money story had improved significantly and it's steadily just improving. Now it's like by the week, like literally you guys, and this is not bragging. This is just me telling you what it's like to change your money mindset. I made a thousand dollars from the beginning of February to now just that's it's only been two weeks into February. I've made a thousand dollars in the stocks doing nothing, clicking buttons. Okay, a thousand dollars in my account from doing nothing that was unheard of to me, and it's my reality now. And everything I'm telling you is not to not to, and I don't think that you guys will feel like I'm bragging because I feel like if you're watching this, then you understand that this is a testimony. And that I'm speaking to the power that's not only within me, but it's within you. That you can change anything in your life, even money, even whatever it is, you can change it with your mind. And once you get your mind in place, once you get your beliefs in place, you can change that. So anywho, guys, I just have to hop on and tell you guys that I'm about to go exercise for real, for real now. Um, but I do coach one-on-one, -on -one, you guys. I do um, teach people what I had to learn to you know, change my money beliefs and change my story and manifest every single thing that I want into my life with ease. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard work. It can be easy. Um, so if you're interested in coaching, definitely reach out to me. Um, but other than that, you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.